Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading for you guys. Um, as part of the Pisces Marathon, we're going to be doing this one just to see what messages are wanting to come in. I don't know. Let's see. There could be confirmations for you, there could be guidance, there could be predictions. Remember to take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If something is not for you, that's okay. That's the whole point of the Pisces Marathon. That if something doesn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and click on the channel, find a whole menu of readings that are recent for you to find through the title the one that resonates with you the most. I'm here for you, my loves. This is what I do. <laughs> so I hope that um, these readings serve you. All right, messages for Pisces. Well, well. Pisces, you may find yourself recently waiting for love, kind of hoping for love, romantic connections. You may have been waiting for something to be resolved, waiting from someone we're waiting to hear from someone. In the recent past, it is very likely that many of you have been focusing on work instead. Money, um, projects, team projects, teamwork. It seems like love right now is the challenge for you, Pisces. It seems like that area of life may not be flowing as easily as you would like it to. There could be, you know, certain challenges within connections that are really beautiful. There may be several connections for you, Pisces, romantically, that feel great. That really feel like they click. You may feel comfortable with these people. Possible admirers, people that perhaps have asked you out, or you have asked out. You know, there's there's good feelings there. But for some reason, um, there may have been a little bit of a challenge moving that into something more. But the good emotions are there, though. From you towards them, and from them towards you. You have been patient. It's like you know that your ships are coming in. You know that things are getting resolved if there has been any kind of issues, obstacles. You know that solutions are around the corner. You have been patiently focusing on how to make your work, your finances, your stability better. And it's all good, you know. I get a sense of very positive energy in the face of any kind of obstacles. All the obstacles that you are going to be facing in the near future you are already aware of okay so that's a relief it's not like you're gonna get a tower moment or something surprising or something um, negative anytime soon at least not this week and the obstacles that you are working on and transcending are the ones that you have already being notified about or that you're already aware of so that's great that makes me happy no weird surprises here um, in your mind space, it seems like you're thinking about how to move forward, how to keep moving forward, progress, momentum, determination, you know, leaving certain aspects of your life that feel constricting, leaving those behind, recognizing that there are calmer waters in the future and that you are actually ready for that calm whether that calm looks like financial stability or romantic stability health wise you know you can recognize that there is something better available for you in the near future and you're getting into a space in which you can claim that in which you feel certain and confident enough to say you know what yeah i'm gonna go for financial stability whatever it takes you know I'm done with the fear, or I'm done with trying to make ends meet. 
with the stress, with sleepless nights even, some of you. And it's like you're claiming your power and you're choosing to move forward. And in the future, we see you very happy, Pisces. We see you in your element. Connected to your intuition, connected to your emotions, you know, shining bright as the Queen of Cups that you are. Whether you're a Pisces male or female, doesn't matter. This is an energy that speaks about emotional mastery, intuition, beautiful, magical energies guiding you through life. And at the same time, not only in the future you're going to be able to surrender yourself into these energies and, you know, explore spirituality, magic, nature, um, you know, healing your emotions. It's like that is going to be very interesting for you in the future. It's going to be calling on you. And you're going to have the time, the energy and the stability to dive deep into that. Because it seems like the work, as far as, you know, money and literal work, your job and stuff, that those efforts are going to be sort of completed in a way that it guarantees stability for you permanently, or at least for like a really long time. And you're going to be able to rely on the systems that are in place. You're going to be able to rely that every, you know, month you're going to be receiving this amount of money. You can rely that the bills are going to be this, that. It's like everything is going to be a little bit organized, more organized. And you're going to be able to look away. You're going to be capable of focusing on things that make you happy. Focusing on things that you want to explore for the sake of it. And having the time, having the energy, having the space to just choose you know something that makes you really tick something that makes you happy <laughs> and i don't think it has anything to do with romantic love i don't think it has anything to do with anything but yourself i see you i see some of you um exploring you know i don't know like herbs and crystals and past life regressions or or the pendulum or healing or reiki you know I see you being very passionate about a new discipline, could be. I'm getting strong, magical vibes, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be the case. You know, it could be something different. It could be you guys getting into like CrossFit or yoga or um, fasting or something that is just really interesting to you. Something that you fall in love with, that you want to know everything about. And the good thing is that you're going to have the space to do that comfortably no pressure no hurry because you have by the time that reaches you figured out your financial and work life stability so i love that pisces you totally deserve that makes me happy that you know that area of the physical realm is going to be kind of like in check so that you can actually focus more on who you are because you are very ethereal in nature pisces you know King of Swords is the card that is representing you right now. Many of you intuitively know that this is what's going on. So you're being objective. You know, I hear many of you saying, well, right now is not the time to travel. Maybe right now it's not the time for me to just, you know, be my wildest, funnest, most adventurous self. It's like you guys are conscious that this time, maybe this year, a couple of years, are going to be dedicated for you to build that foundation of your life. And you're good with that. It seems it seems like you're maybe saying no to many offers or invitations because you're focused. And it feels good. It feels like the right thing to do right now. To figure out a system that will help you be stable for the rest of your life. It's like the energies are available for you to do that. And since you are a very intuitive Pisces, you can feel that. And you sort of trust and know that this is the time to be, you know, serious and grounded and grown up and stuff. <laughs> and then um, you're going to have all the time in the world to dive deep into your passions and dive deep into who you are on a spiritual level. In your environment, 
You have the devil energy. This could be a Capricorn person. This could be someone who's around you. Someone who whose life seems to be a little bit on fire, not gonna lie. This person could be having issues, troubles, and they could be bringing in a level of toxicity into your life. But I feel like you are very objective at this time, and I feel like you're not gonna be afraid to cut them off if you need to, in whatever way feels good to you. Hopes and fears, you've got the star. So maybe you have a hope right now. For romantic love but at the same time you have a fear that that will take you away from yourself or from everything that you're focused on maybe you have a hope or a temptation to go into all these magical things before having this foundation be ready so you have that hope and simultaneously you're like i probably shouldn't go into that just yet because i'm gonna fall in love <laughs> And I'm going to leave all of my efforts in the physical realm for financial stability kind of like hanging. At the end of the day, Pisces, you choose, it seems that you choose solitude, privacy, so you can have the energy to focus on what you want. The Hermit is, it's kind of like a lonely energy, but it's not lonely as in, oh my god, I'm so lonely, I want to be with someone. No, the Hermit is more of this energy of, you know, I'm getting a little bit confused with all the energies around me, so I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to go into my space, my quiet sanctuary of my energy, and just be, feel, think, meditate. And it's this sense of like a warm blanket. <laughs> that surrounds you this this sense of safety and comfort in which you don't need to be anything other than yourself you don't have to say anything you don't have to do anything it's just you being <laughs> and existing and i feel like you're gonna be very inclined to to take this moment for yourself and you're gonna do that and it's gonna feel absolutely wonderful Let's see what the monology cards have to say for my beautiful fishies. Guidance for Pisces. Your commitment is being tested. Well, yeah. We just mentioned that. Like, some of you guys are going to be almost lured <laughs> into diving deep into all these things that really make you feel great, really make you feel passionate. I feel like most of them are magic, <laughs> you know, magic, spirituality, those areas. But it seems like you're very well aware that as soon as you drop the focus on kind of finishing this system in the physical realm to support you financially, it seems like you know that as soon as you drop that to go into the magical, you know, things, it's going to be left undone. And I think that you can definitely identify that. So some of you guys are committed to, for example, creating a business structure, if you have your own business, clearing issues with the law or with taxes, having a team, training them, organizing things. Maybe some of you that have a regular job, you're working on um, waiting for that moment in which the contract comes through and making sure that everything is set for the next two years or whatever. It's going to look different for every single one of you. But don't allow yourself to be lured too early because you do have this responsibility towards yourself, Pisces, to make sure everything is sort of like in place. So you don't have to stress about it. So you don't have to focus all your time and all your energy on thinking, how is this money going to come in? How is this stability going to come through? Figure it out first. And then you're going to have everything answered. You're not going to have any stress. And you're going to be able to focus on the things you love. For some of you, this could take a week. For others of you, this could take two years. Depending on when you where you are in that process. But I do feel... Like, this is the time, like, you're being told, 
not by me, <laughs> that this is the time uh, to focus on that foundation. And, you know, if you think about it, it makes sense. Because, you know, with the whole COVID thing and the pandemic, you know, it's not necessarily the best time to travel. You know, many travel destinations right now are not at their best. And there's all sorts of, like, you know, discomforts with traveling and with adventuring. There's not, you know, I don't know. I say that because I know that some Pisces are avid travelers, but I know not all of you are. It says, don't let pride get in the way. Some of you guys might get invited to something, okay? And some of you are going to feel very tempted because of maybe pride or FOMO, fear of missing out or something. You're going to feel very inclined and tempted to leave your responsibilities behind. Don't do it, Pisces. Don't. Every little bit of effort that you put in right now to your future and stability is going to mark such a big difference is what I'm getting. So, you know, there's time for everything and right now it seems to be the time for you to figure this out and create that foundation for the rest of your life. And you're going to definitely be able to do it. That's what I'm getting. And the last card here is you and your loved ones are safe. What a beautiful thing to hear. <laughs> What a beautiful thing to hear, Pisces. The new moon in Cancer may be relevant for some of you. The full moon in Leo. And the first quarter moon, okay? So this is what I have for you, my beautiful fishies. Thank you so much for joining me for this freestyle reading. God willing, I'm going to be posting the stalker reading later. I know that many of you guys enjoy that one. I'm going to be using the millennial... Um, Oracle, which has been receiving so much positive, hilarious feedback by you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to be using that one. Thank you all for being here. If you like this video, please click on that like. That allows the video to show up um, on other people's feeds, people that don't know the channel just yet. So if you like it, like it. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe. And as always, I'm going to leave all the relevant information as far as our website, tools, everything that we're offering under this video in the description box. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my loves.